Hi there, Colin Lamb, aka The Tone Wizard here. I hope you're doing very well wherever you may happen to be. I'm doing pretty good here. It's a Friday. I'm actually on the cusp of a three-day weekend. I'm going into the recording studio to record a couple of tracks uh, with my band. Um, you know, some guys go on fishing trips, some guys go on golf trips, some guys sit on a hut in the middle of a frozen lake and hope to catch a lake trout, spending tens of thousands of dollars on gear to keep them alive and unreasonably comfortable for the thing that they're doing. Um, but I, I go into the recording studio with my buddies and we record a couple of tracks every once in a while. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. I hope you're gonna have a fucking fantastic weekend yourself. I don't know how many videos I'm gonna get out uh, before next weekend. So I thought I'd do a reaction video because I've been having fun doing these. And if you wanna send me in anything, please, I will listen to anything once, uh, preferably if it's something I've never heard of um, or, or listen to it at the very least. So Kevin Bossick, regular contributor to the channel, sent in this recommendation. It's a band called Cattle Decapitation, which uh, right off the bat, with a name like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a reaction video to the track. Thank you very much, Kevin, for sending this in. It's a track called The Unre Unerasable Past. Uh, and apparently John Fishman from Fish does the narration. So I punched this up. I found it. It looks like it's about 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So I'm going to listen to this and the next track on the album. Um, I've never listened to Cattle Decapitation. I've heard of them. Um, my, I think they might be metal or something like that. Hard rock. Uh, I think to me they're one of those patch bands where if you, you go to a, like an underground metal show or a punk show, you, you see the Cattle Decapitation patch on the back and a serif -y font. Maybe the Tone Wizard should have a serif logo. Maybe, maybe it's time to up the fucking production on this fucking channel and take things seriously. Get a hold of the algorithm, for God's sake. Anyways, I'm going to give this a spin and the next track, and uh, I'm going to take a drive out to the studio. I'm in the wife's car. Uh, for a change, it doesn't smell like gasoline um, and wet rain gear in here, which is awesome. But maybe that's part part of uh, of the enjoyment of those previous videos. Maybe I've got a little free buzz going on uh, with those fumes. Anyways, this is Cattle Decapitation with Unerasable Past on the Tone 98.5. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe if you feel like it. I'm hoping this will get me a little jacked up for my session here and for this drive on the highway, which is never fun for me personally. A little watch first gear there. The wife's clutch is a little, a little looser than the old tone wizards. Okay, what's going on here, Kevin? This is ominous, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm on my way to, uh, not to a fun weekend, but to some kind of eventual reality that I don't wanna confront. Is that John Fishman right there? Is that what's going on? This is like menu music for a, a horror game on PlayStation 2, where the music production was better than the game. Thank you. What, what, what is he saying? What's he, I gotta look up the lyrics to this. This may not be driving music, Kevin Bossick. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Maybe the next track might be a little peppier. Are we on the cusp of something good or really bad here? It's kind of fitting for my weekend of recording. All right, that was the un, unerasable pass. Kevin, thank you for sending that in. I understand that that kind of intersects with my interest in fish. So we'll see what this next track is all about here. And uh, I'm gonna listen to a cattle decapitation song called One Day Closer in the End of the World on the tone 98.5. Yeah, this is more what I thought it would be. get pulled over for appearing as though I'm on meth if I keep rocking like that. But who gives a fuck? I like this. I used to listen to this kind of stuff when I was growing up. 
kind of sounds like a band called Cryptopsy that I used to listen to. I'm not sure if I'd want to be the girl or the guy or the guy in the background. There's always two of them layering stuff. Like in Dying Fetus, there's John Gallagher and then another guy doing the high vocals. I like this though, it's cool. There's kind of like really fast EDM drops in death metal where everything comes to a crescendo and then it's like a tss, 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 blah, blast off. I think I'm going to let this ride for the rest of my drive too. Thanks Kevin for, for sending this my way. Here comes a little mini, mini drop. Cattle decapitation. Uh, courtesy of Kevin Bosick for sending in the, the original recommendation, the un, unerasable pass, and uh, I, I, I'm driving, so I can't really remember what the name of that track was. But thank you very much for sending that my way, Kevin. I'm always down to listen to some new music, and I'm probably going to let the rest of that album uh, ride uh, at the end of this. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a weekend in the recording studio. I might film some stuff in there if, I, if there's anything in there of interest. They've got some old tape echo units and some cool stuff in there. A ton of fucking amps and, and maybe just some general studio goofery that may be of entertainment value. Anyways, um, if you're new here, please give this video a subscribe. Send me in your recommendations for reaction videos. I'll listen to anything once. Remember to shoulder check and take very good care of yourselves. I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.